Mike. I can slide that mic over a little more for you. I literally have to look at You have to protect your voice. <laughs> I got a, I don't know. Did I have some new job? Last time we all met? Yeah, it's already getting promoted to director. Like salary, like big money. I'm like, oh my God. So that's been this week. Next week is all the, next week just meetings. What did I sign up for? Yeah, so it's interim at the moment. Just fired the last one Monday. They were like, do you want it interim? We'll see how it works. You know, if you like it. So if that should hopefully go through, I would say no. Doing training at six hours yesterday. Um, I got paid half time and a half, <clears throat> so that worked out. <laughs> I finally worked at a place. So I've got blue peekaboo. <laughs> What's wrong with your hair? <laughs> no, it's a blue, it's, it's a blue peekaboo. <laughs> First time. A little messy, but. I mean, it's what was left. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the good, good thing about my hair is that uh, it's silver, so I don't have to bleach it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, you gotta look on. You gotta look on the bright side. Right. Yeah. Well, that's what keeps wanting me to do OnlyFans, and I'm like, no. I do. Yeah. That's frustrating. <laughs> when you when you write puzzles that are off of like sixth grade level, you can know. Uh, all right. Yes. Yeah. Toenails too. My toenails too. Right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to do blue in my hair. I'm going to get some black in there. There we go. Now my camera's working. All right. And we're live, by the way. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Hello. Oh, we are here for our. D&D. We actually have most of the group. Cody, sadly, will not be joining us this week. Uh, he's working through some things, but he'll be joining us soon. Mm, boo. Yeah, boo. Um, but in the meantime, That's we got cool. our, our group back. Um, you do, you we, boo. Before yeah. we start today, um, let's see here. Uh, before we do the recap and everything, uh, first off, of course, all streams are extra live streams, so... You can uh, donate. The link will pop up in chat. Just click that, and you're able to donate to Extra Life. Um, I am trying to find your guys' pages here. Uh, let's see here. Where is my cleric? As. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll a D8. Uh, I'm gonna roll that again. Okay, there's a one. The first one was cocked, and it was a one. If it's a one, if it's again. a one, if it's a one, I allow you to roll again. Okay. Because the one I roll, I re-rolled the cocked. All right, this is my lucky dice. Now it's an eight. So. 
All right, so take eight plus your constitution modifier. Oh, I do have a constitution modifier. It was like, I don't think I even have one. <laughs> so that's uh, 10. 10. All right, and what level are you guys moving into? I'm going to stick cleric. No, 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 no. So like, me. are you level four or level five? Oh, uh, six now. Level six? Okay. Because up to level... Uh, one levels one through five, I allow you to add plus two to your uh, HP when you guys roll it, but from six on, it doesn't have matter. So it's okay. just you get that ten points. So cool. your new max HP is plus ten. All right. Um, what are you, a druid? Druid and a D8. Uh, druid. Yes, a D8 plus your constitution. That's a one. You get to reroll on a one. Six plus your constitution modifier. Eight. Eight, so add eight to your max HP. All right, and our monk. Monks get a uh, also a D8, so go ahead and roll a D8, D. Make sure for your hit dice, or your, like, go for your, like... I was going to explain that after us, so... Oh, no. Oh, Joe, this is... Man. Strati's in? Give Strati a shout out, please. D, we can't hear you. You're all pushed to talk again. No! Take yourself off push to talk, silly. Because he just wanted to call it oh. It's not. Okay, because so we couldn't hear you. You're really quiet for fight. some reason, D. Yeah. All right, so what, right. what'd you roll? You rolled a three? Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm going, can you hear me now? I, I can hear you now. Yeah, now you're way better. Okay. All right, so All right. you rolled a three plus your constitution yeah. modifier. Three plus constitution. Constitution, where are you? Is three. So, so you get six. six. So your max HP goes up to six. So now you guys should have a thing that says hit dice. Um, and it should, all of you should be at six D eight because you all rolled D eight. So remember those are the hit dice you guys can use during a short rest to refill HP. But the way that works is so if you use three of them and then when we take a long rest, you only get one back as we're, cause it's half of it rounded down. So if you took used four of them, you would get two back. And then you'd have to take another long rest to get the other two back. So Okay. You guys have not really used them much, so. So we get you, how we get sorry, how many? It, it should be six D eight. Six D eight. Okay. Yeah, it goes up every whatever your level is should be what that dice is, unless you guys get some magic thing that allows you to have an extra one, which is very rare. Okay. So, awesome. Okay. All right. So that takes care of all of that. Huh? Are you going to enlarge your screen? Get rid of the cycle. Yeah, I will eventually. Okay. Calm down. It, it I it it's hard to do with this because I have to with the OBS program, so it has things. So at the moment I'm not worried about it. All right, so recap time here. We last left off, you guys had finished the quest in the mines and uh returned to the inn where you had a good night of uh fun. Dee and her bard friend and as an a uh, sultry maid who uh, stole some gold from him. Yeah, yeah she stole my gold. Um, you've awoken I mean, I, the more. I don't hate payment. her, but you know, I feel like payment. she could have asked. I would have given her some. Yeah, but then you're paying I for would've. it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I guess that I is guess. an aspect. Drax says we have to do pink beard for you next. A pink beard? All right, we'll do oh, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, ah. Uh, not sober, you know, booby awareness. Ooh. I just have a pink beard all the time. I'm cool with that. Um, so 
you guys have wandered downstairs for breakfast. Um, it has been three days, so it is time to meet uh, everyone's favorite Captain Catapult at the dock. But first, you guys are going to go pick up your reward bag, which uh, I did message you all what was in that bag. So it's up to you to write that into your inventory. Yeah, I forgot all about that, honestly. <laughs> I knew there'd be at least one of you. I'll I'll make a note of that. Uh -huh. Yes, I will, there... I will make an addendum card. <laughs> well, the, you might want to make sure you got that because there were some healing potions and stuff in there Ooh, for you. Good shit in there, yeah. Actually, yeah. I was excited. <laughs> Backpack, bedroll, vest mm -hmm. kit, tinderbox, porches, fifty foot of rope. Uh. I hooked you all up for the next part of this adventure. I don't want to hear any complaining. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit. I see. <laughs> or do I have to go to the to the town? He's like, hen, hen, you guys are all, you guys are all in the town. Uh, you're at the inn. You guys have to just walk over to pick up the bags in the morning on your way to the dock. Yeah. I have all my stuff. Okay. So yeah, while you're there, if you guys want to purchase anything at the shop, this would be the time because you're about to get on a ship. Maybe. You guys don't know what Captain mm -hmm. Cannibal's talking about, about getting his ship back. Yeah, because we're like, are we on his ship? Uh-huh. I think he just uh... called it years. And he says, now this is my ship. So do you guys need to do any shopping, or are you guys ready to head back to the dock? I'm going to go to that store. You're at the store right now. Okay. I buy that druid. Okay. So I buy my spell consult. Okay. Um, how much? Are we, are we doing spell components? Uh, for the most part, I kind of assume that you have them. Um, I like think you most should... of mine come with like a clerical symbol of power or whatever. But I say on I the few spells, buy a pack just to just to be honest about it. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. I don't actually keep a, make you keep a good inventory on it. Um, if ever you guys are like, let's say you guys ever were wandering through the desert, and you oh, haven't been to a shop, name? yeah, even uh, that's when I would really make you guys start worrying about like inventory, food, and water. Okay, because it's going to be right. in a situation where you're so far away from a shop, from any source of getting those materials that eventually, yeah, you would run out. But I figure if you guys were in town and you were out, you guys in between may have ran to the store and be like, hey, I need a pack of smokes, a bottle of beer, and this uh, candle wax, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, let me find out the price of those. I don't have the big shopping list with me today. But yeah, I printed out a comprehensive guide of all like things you can buy at like a shop. Mm -hmm. Things are expensive in the D and D world, guys. Um, well, I would like to purchase some. Well, actually, how much is the alcohol? Is there like little flasks? <laughs> um, you could buy a uh, keg. All right, let me just go grab that book real quick because yeah, if you guys are gonna. I sent in my adventure pack. It was three gold, and you got. Five pack of food, ale, water skin, and a tinder box. And our, you know, reward bag, we've got a bunch of other stuff. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You might want to pick up um, anything for like, can you use like herbs for healing? Uh, I can't. I don't think. Um... As, you know. Do you like have like um, proficiency with an herbalism kit or anything like that? Um, I'm trying to think of what my my uh, thingies were. I do have a alchemist supplies herbalism kit under tools, so I'm I might have created my character with that stuff. I don't know where I would have written that down at though. Um, it would be under like equip. Let's see here. That's weapons. Okay. <laughs> so you're looking for a druid like uh, bag of. A druid pack, you said it was 15 gold. 
Yeah, that, see, that's in my other book. But yeah, we'll say it's 15 gold. I wrote it down from when I... I know, but I'm saying I can't find that comprehensive list I printed out. It may be in the tub. I don't feel like they can through it. I figure it's going to be enough supplies that I can do... Yeah, yeah. It, it should be enough supplies for you for a while. But like I said, if you guys are ever wandering for several days in a desert... Uh, I don't have it. That's just it. It's not in this. It's had to be in something else. Buy another one. Buy two of them. Then buy two of them if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's herbalism kit is what it's called. No, that's herbalism. Under druids, that's what you start with is a herbalism uh -huh. kit. That's what I'm saying. The druid kit you're talking of was in that big thing of printout that I did that is missing. Okay. It's not in any of my folders, and I'm not going to go dig through everything looking for it, because it could take like 20 minutes. Well, I'm going to buy druid packs, and that's to do my druid spells. Okay. How much is an herbalism kit? Uh, I'm looking for it right now. It doesn't say. Yeah, I'm not proficient in medicine. I don't think that will help you. All right. Well, then don't worry about it. In medicine, you can buy an herbalism kit. Yeah, well, once you get done with yours, I'll, I'm going to buy a okay, an her medicine kit. An herbalism kit costs five gold and weighs three pounds. So I'm going to say your packs probably weigh about five pounds. Um, and then... We'll say that uh, a medicine kit, which... There is a kit. It's it, it's basically like a first aid kit. It is used for stabilizing people. So, like, if you have someone who goes um, and is doing death saving throws, you can actually stabilize them, which means they're still unconscious and at zero, but they don't go up to one. But they're no longer they no longer have to throw a death saving throw. Um, those will say cost two gold and weigh uh, two pounds. Like I said, that just has basic, like, bandages, uh, some herbal remedies, just stuff to kind of stabilize someone who's been injured, like some burn cream. It stops them from bleeding out completely fine. Yeah, it doesn't bring you, like I said, if you are at zero, it doesn't move you up to the one. You are still unconscious, but you no longer have to do death saving throws. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy one of those in an herbalism kit. All right. So that's a total of seven GP. Seven GP down. Oh. I'm trying to find a redhead and taking all my money. Mm -hmm. Hey, that happens. It does. It does. Trust me. His ex redhead. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Uh, that's that's a different situation. <laughs> all right. Um. So let's say uh, they say a gallon of. Ale will cost you two silver. Let's say a cask of it costs you four. That'd be two gallons. Who's going to carry that? D wanted to buy it. Yeah. I might. Shit. Man, that's a lot. Hmm. Well, that's um, silver, not gold. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um. I'll buy a gallon then. Okay, so one <laughs> gallon will cost you two silver. Two silver. Okay, so down two silver. I now have a gallon of ale. And then, um, yeah, my, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, the herbalism kit contains a variety of instruments such as clippers, mortar and pedestal, and pouches and vials used by herbalists to create remedies and potions. Uh, proficiency with this kit slash you add a proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to identify or apply herbs. Also, proficiency with this kit is required to create antitoxins and potions of healing. So, uh, if you have that and you okay. have some of the knowledge, you guys could start learning to make potions. There used to be an alchemy skill, but they got rid of it over the years. He says he's got um, proficiency with an alchemy. It says alchemist supplies is a tool I have proficiency with. 
Yeah, alchemy. alchemist supplies. I was looking to see. I think it's about the same thing. It's going to have some alchemy tools, um, which means when you go to create a potion, you would roll for it, and you would be able to add uh, your proficiency bonus to that roll. Can I go ahead and pick up one of those too? Yeah, um, let's say I'd that like it's... with my increased intelligence with my god, she's teaching me how to <laughs> heal things without magic. Kind of. Okay, so. Alchemist supplies cost 50 gold pieces and weigh oh, eight pounds. Woo! How many pounds? Rich bitch. Eight pounds. And again, I'm not a big stickler on encumbrance, so if you're over your encumbrance a little bit, you're okay. But I won't let you, you know, if you're like, you're, I forget what it is exactly, it's your strength times 10, I believe. I think I need your platinum. That'll, that'll pay. Oh, I've got, I've got 10 platinum. It's all good. <laughs> But you would just need five. Um, I'm gonna look up. Yeah. Here, let me go grab this while you guys keep shopping. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't wait for the sun to start warming this place up. White. Me too. <laughs> I don't like the cold. I enjoy some cold, like if there's snow and pretty shit, but not this, whatever this is. <sighs> I can't find the conference or stop you. Yeah, it's in one of my files somewhere. That, that pink book? No, that pink book is monsters. Oh, I might have stuck it in the back part. Give me a second. Uh, let's see here. I was going to look up your guys' weight limit here. Uh, hmm. Well, like I said, I think it's your strength times 10, but I want to make sure before I tell you that. 14 times 10, I can carry. Okay, your carrying capacity is your strength score multiplied by 15. So you take your actual score. So if you have a score of 14, you times that by 15, and that's how much you can carry. So, like I said, I don't, I'm not a stickler on that, but let's say you guys are carrying and you're already at, you know, let's say you can carry 100 pounds, you're in at 98, and you guys decide to lug back a big roll of dragon scales and hide. I'm going to say that you're going to be over encumbered and you will take some suffering for that because, yeah, you're really pushing it at that point. Yes, if you have a magic bag of holding, then that would be different. And. Let's see. No, it's not in here. Just this is all character sheets. Bag of holding. <laughs> A magic bag of holding. I've got one in my other campaign. Oh. My son keeps putting random shit in. I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope oh, you don't reach in and suddenly get like nipped by something. Well, no, you can't. <laughs> no, like, oh, here it is. The only the way is you oh. reach in and you think about the thing that you want to take. So, like, I do, I put in a ration. So I think of the ration and pop it out. If I just stick my hand in the mouth, there's I nothing. Don't get anything. It's in another dimension. Yeah. I can pop it. I see. I see. Well, here's the thing, though. So, like, they'll be sitting there talking, like how you guys just were, and her kid will be like, mm -hmm. "Hey, I'm gonna put this in the bag of holding." And I'm like, "Roll, roll, slide a hand check." With advantage because no one's actually paying attention to you, and he wins every time. So I'm just like, all right, it's in there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Random shit in my bag of holding. All right, I found the sh <laughs> I found the shopping list. Which here, I'll see if if she has a bag of holding right now. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah. First, let me see how much it is, and then I'll roll to see if she has one. They are expensive. They're better. It's, it's usually something I give as a reward, but. Yeah. 
I said, this is a comprehensive list. It's like 15, 16 pages of things you can find in stores in D&D world. A broom of flying costs 4,500 gold. How much? 4,500. So, uh, Vaxalos, her broom was that. I'll keep that in mind. I wouldn't mind flying. Um, I don't know if you could. Okay. Strong wind just picks your ass up and throws you off the broom. Fly through the staff. No, oh, it's not in here. So, this comprehensive list does not include a bag of holding shit. I can get it. I have other. I have other lists. So, is there any, while I'm looking, if there's anything else you guys wanted to buy from the store before you guys head out? I did sell my armor before I left. Yes. Yes. Um, what did D buy like a flask of something? I, I feel like I'd, the amount of preparation we're doing. If, if Terstall didn't buy a a, a flask or something, I think he'd be upset. No, Ophelia did. She bought a gallon of ale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm prepared to put up a dress. Uh, <laughs> I feel I feel like you feel like we're all getting used to hanging out with each other now. We're starting to understand. That's yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll grab I'll grab a flask of fire water. How much does that cost? Um, it would be this a, a flask we're gonna say is a mug's worth. Um, so that'd be four copper. Four copper. Oh fuck yeah. Per yeah, like hard alcohol thing. too, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Travels the easiest. So for a fifteen pound bag of holding, okay. So that means the bag weighs fifteen pounds. Uh, but you can put stuff in it. Um, it's 2,500 gold. Oh, that's a gold, though. 2,500 gold. I would love one of those. That would be awesome. Well, one in real life. And that bag, oh, yeah, that bag can hold up to 250 pounds worth of weight. Yeah, Ooh. for the for the first, there's four different bags. For the lowest bag, which oh weighs God. 15 pounds, no matter how what you put in it, can carry 250 pounds worth of shit. They had to have had the biggest bag. The biggest bag, which is a bag of holding type 4, is 60 pounds is how much it weighs. It can hold 1,500 pounds uh, of 250 cubic feet, and that thing costs 10,000 gold. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> Did they have more than that in their bag? That's because I more than likely <laughs> they they played a modified bag of holding. I'm just I'm going off of the raw here, so that and they had like dragon high, dragon scale. The, again, that's why I, I tell everybody: I yeah, critical be. role Wait, and heroes and habits are great. Bodies. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll get into that in a second, but. Uh, critical right. role and all of them are great, but don't use them as a basis for like the way D&D is because Matt Mercer is homebrewing it, which I do too, so things are a little different. Okay, so a bag of holding does not preserve an item. So if you put a body in it, it does ooh, start ooh, to rot corpse. and decay. Um, <laughs> on that, also, if you put a live person in a bag of holding, they die because there's no oxygen in the bag of holding. Okay. So it's the same. We're learning really too easy much way today. to kill an enemy. <laughs> like, get in the bag, bitch. Like, yeah, but you got like a bag. The the smallest bag of holding is, yeah, it's basically like an opening of a purse. So it hat whatever goes in has to fit in that opening. So you might be able to put it over their head, but you'd have to hold it there until they work. die. Okay. So and there is and this is a critical <laughs> role thing I've never seen before. There's a bag of holding c-o-l-d and that would be used for preserving things like <laughs> hearts and stuff so they don't rot they were issued by a guild that collects body parts for alchemy reasons it's the kegerator basically 
Yeah. So, like um, a gnomish kegger. So those those are some of the things, and, and the shop keeps explaining this all to you guys. So that that's what's going on for those watching. Okay, you guys are actually getting an education from the shopkeep. Um, did you need to purchase anything else before you guys head down to the dock? Um, I got my ale. I got supplies. I've got potion making does stuff. Does she have any like magic rings? Um, let me roll see if she has anything. Or... No, she does not have any magic rings. You guys kind of bought all of the. What about any magic potions for like water breathing? No, you guys kind of already went through her potion store before you guys went to the mines. Yeah, but I didn't think about water. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't really have a lot of potions. She said. Um, how all much right. were the flasks of fire ale? Uh, oh, you wanted fire water? Oh, it was two copper. Fire two water, copper. Yeah, nothing. Two copper. Four copper. And they're only and they're like how many? Okay, it, it's, four. Four ounces. Yeah, it's it's a mug. Like so an eight ounce. Oh, okay, okay. Um, not like a coffee mug. Two. I know, but it's it's I'm using the yeah, mug like equivalent. A, so yeah. like think a like, twenty ounce container. Yeah, think about twenty ounces. We'll go. We'll go with that. Okay, cool. I would like to buy two. All right, Jesus. go ahead. Do it. Celia, you're not getting drunk? No, I mean, you know, I might need it in the future. <laughs> Just, things have been stressful, you guys. Just like I'm sipping on it, you know, and, and in the night. We had a spider lady. We had to fight a spider lady. A I need help going will to get sleep you at drunk. night. Oh, God, yeah. I could just probably stick my tongue in it and be like... <laughs> All right, so while you're all finishing up shopping, um, the Kanku comes in and delivers a message to you telling you that uh, Captain says go ahead and grab some lunch and then meet him at the dock. So nice. you guys go back to the inn. Wonderly. So you guys go back to the inn and uh, order yourself some food. And while you're all sitting there kind of uh, going over all your purchasing, packing your gear and your bags and everything, um, you notice that there is a rowdy group of uh people over at one end of the bar and uh let's see as and d go ahead and roll a perception check you couldn't really see because you're so small you couldn't see over the bar you just hear the noise three uh 16 Wait. for tersel tersel i can add to that can i yeah you add right <laughs> i'm sorry i'm an idiot no Where's my thingy? You guys, I'm a little jealous. I keep seeing French fries. Um, they're not they're, French um... fries. They're worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we went and got donuts this morning, so we're okay. Oh, I'm jealous, actually. Now they're those per perlines, perlines. Oh, okay, the things okay. that, the cookies that come in a can. Yeah, yeah. with a little chocolate. Um, yeah, chocolate. with the chocolate insert, hazelnut, whatever. I I rolled a six. <laughs> a six, okay. Well, so you just bonus, you so. you feel you notice yeah that there's a group of rowdy people over at one way. Tersel, you notice that they are making wagers over something. Do you feel like going over and seeing, or are you just going to continue your meal? I mean, we got a little time to kill mm. before the captain picks us up, and you know, I just. Lost 50 gold to a beautiful redhead, so I've got an empty hole in my pocket I'd like to fill. So, yeah, I'll, I'll totally go over there. All right, so you saunter over there, uh, and you notice that there are four guys sitting at the bar, and they are uh, all drinking, and it is a drinking contest. Hmm. Oh, I'm in 100%. I don't even need to hear the details. Like, okay, it is five gold to enter. The pot is 100 gold. And no. I'm See, consider it mine. A very drunk vomiting. Okay, so could I, could I like I'll tie him to the rail. whisper a, a little spell to myself before we start? Sure. Can I I'll, like I'll make lock. a deception? Like, I'll give myself guidance uh, to get give a yourself. D4. Guidance. Um, D4 to ability, ability check of my choice. Just one. <laughs> okay. All right. So. I'm going to 
touch him as he walks away and cast resistance. All right. So you will have um. <laughs> Oh, you roll a d4 and add that number. Roll to any saving throw of your choice. You can nice. roll the die before or after making the saving throw. Oh, you you're going to get so drunk. You roll for your <laughs> saving throw and you lose. You know, you can always roll that d4 with that resistance. All right. So oh, as, as you Lord. sit down, the three other people at the bar, uh, there is a human who's going to be the screen dice. Um, he's very haggard looking, very big though, beer belly. I mean, he looks very muscular, but I mean, he's just got it. So he's definitely a drinker. His nose is red and bulbous. So I mean, you can tell he's a drunk. Next to him is a dwarf. Just looking like a dwarf. Stout, just all muscle, big long beard with multiple braids, beads hanging off it. The last figure has a hood up. And all you see mm. is a light bluish tint to the skin. All right, so the way this works is we're all going to roll d20 and add your constitution modifier to it. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry, who was all at the table? There is a human, a dwarf, and a mystery figure under a cloak with blue bluish skin. Blue tinted person. Trying to remember descriptions of Strat. Was he bluish skin? No. Strat <laughs> Strats and like if so, I'm going to lose. So Strats, quickly. Strats and no. Hmm. Well, he could have been under. I am not going to metagame the shit out of this. I'm just going to stand here silently. All right. So go ahead and roll. I'm going to go ahead and use my guidance already, which is right. horrible news. I rolled a six plus two is eight plus D four another two, so that's ten. Ten. And my guidance is gone. Yeah. Did you add your constitution modifier to that? I did. All yeah. right. Okay, so in the first round, you all chug down your drinks, and you all keep it down. You're all doing pretty good. Next, my next mug gets poured in front of you. Roll again. All right, green die is fired. Purple die, you're in. Okay, purple die wins. Uh, 15 on that roll. All right. Yeah, you chug it down, slam it down. So does the mysterious figure in the cloak next to you. The dwarf halfway through just and burps and just spear all over. Oh, he's out. No. The human, the human gets his down, but as he's putting his mug down, you can tell he's starting to get a little wobbly. All right. So roll again. All right, purple die. Oh, purple I'm die. Hoping I've failed. That they're doing the things um, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> a two plus two is a four. Yeah, I blocked up. You know. All right. So at this Watch time, both you Watch and the human, you, you slug, chug it down, slam it down, and as you do, you go to burp, and you both just start puking. The yes. the hooded figure again calmly finishes, puts it down, doesn't seem phased at all, and pulls the money over, puts it in a pouch, puts the pouch inside their cloak, and gets up to walk away. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> are you? The hooded figure turns and smiles at you and goes, "No one of any importance." Roll perception check. Sure. Bullshit. <laughs> I, I need bullshit. to roll an intelligence check as well. Uh, no, it would just be a perception check. Eighteen. All right. So you you can tell that this figure is about. Six and a half foot tall and is heavily cloaked, but you see under the cloak what looks maybe like a tail. And if looking further, you can tell kind of where the cloak's over it. It does seem like there's some lumps there. Huh? For knowledge? Huh? I know what this is. Do I need to roll for it? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and roll and uh, try to think what it would be here. Intelligence. What? Yeah, let's just do a straight intelligence roll. 19 plus 3. You get the feeling right away that this is a tiefling. You didn't stand a chance unless you were going to give him milk. Hey, <laughs> tiefling. As you say, this, the tiefling walks out and disappears. 
Deeply ah. certain he had alcohol. But if you keep him milk, oh. they're trashed. <laughs> Uh, Tersel kind of slaps the human a little roughly on the back. Well, I guess you learn some things every day. Good day, guys. <laughs> Dwarf, you probably want to put some ice on that. <laughs> but now you know, Tersel. Now you know. Don't trust hooded blue people. All right. So got as you clean up the puke that got on you, and you guys all gather up, you guys start heading out. Uh, you're going to head to the docks. But not the docks of the main port. You have to head back to the other dock, the one where you guys all crashed originally when you arrived at Aswinda. When we almost froze to death. <laughs> yes. Uh, as you guys come out, the uh, Kanku's there, and he, he gestures for you to follow. And instead of going all the way back up the hill and through the caves, there's a freshly shoveled path that leads to the dock. Takes you guys about a half hour of walking, go around the cave and everything. Um, you all feel a little stupid because if it had been daytime and the snow had been freshly fallen, you might have seen this path when you first got here. Ah. So you guys kind of all kick yourself. Um, while you're walking, I'd like you to roll, uh, just roll a d20 for me for Doggo. Three. Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen? All right. Doggo, while walking, he's just jumping through the snow, having a good time. I'm on his back. You're riding him? Okay, well then I want you to hold a uh, roll of dexterity save. Dear God. Fifteen. Okay, you are you managed to hold on while Doggo's having a, the bestest life jumping through snow drifts. <laughs> all right, so you guys all arrive at the, the worn and beaten docks where you guys had originally landed when you guys got to Icewind Dale. Um, and in the daylight, the dock doesn't look any better. Um, it is definitely very weathered. Um, it has been frozen and melted and frozen and melted, so the wood is decaying. Um, you see standing at the dock, Captain Catapult. Master oh. Saulfield. Uh, the cold air has uh, sobered him up a little. Good. So as you guys approach, he's standing out looking at the water, out at the water, and he has both his hands held out, palms up, and he's just mumbling. And as you guys get there, you watch as this blue orb comes out of his hand, and a green one comes out of the other hand, and they fly up, and they meet together, and then they shoot out into the water. And you guys see out in the frozen, like, water area there, it starts to bubble. And the bubbling gets more and more as this ship just comes rising out of the water. Spots where the boards have been broken when the ship sunk are reforming with ice. And then the ice turns to wood. Nice. <clears throat> the ship rises That's all the way up. Wicked. The sails drop, and you watch as ice crystals form across them and then melt away into brand new red and blue sails. That's quite a nifty so is this, trick is this there, his sir. Ship? He, like, he like excavated his own ship, or is this like a new thing? He said he was getting his ship back. That's true. Damn. Might have needed That's some impressive. pretty hefty slice. Yeah, Tertil will so. shout out, or I don't know how far away we are, be like, oh, that's a pretty good trick there, Captain. You have to <laughs> teach me that one someday. <laughs> He looks at it and he goes, aye, this is a good trip, but it costs me one life every time. Ooh. Oh, oh babe, maybe I'll let you keep that trick. Mm -hmm. I... <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's got nine lives. So the boat has returned. Um, I just realized I don't have a Kanku. Hold on. Unprepared. And yeah, and Tersel's getting very comfortable and getting slightly sober, but he's going to kind of gently pat one of the King Cubians. It's good to see you turkeys again. It's just, just, There's only one left. There's only one left. There's only one left. Oh, really? Well, then I'll I'll take a little more gentle tone with the, the remaining King Coo. I missed, missed you. 
We were dealing with barbarians and giants and undead. You could have used a little magic in there. Mm -hmm. We do have two kings. Thought we had lost one. You guys did. Um, that he recruited. Oh, oh so is there three? We'll find out in a minute. Or you got a new one. No. Don't put no, it's not gonna. <laughs> Speaking of voices. I know. Um, yeah, I know. That we can. All right. So as you guys board the ship, and uh, you get on there, yeah, you, you notice that yeah, this is the same ship you guys were on before. Um, and while you guys are getting. Your gear so you notice that there's another kank who has joined the crew. Well, hello. If this one looks exactly like the one that died and was burned, except for his eyes, instead of being black like the other kankus, are white. So supplies are loaded upon the ship. And you guys are ready to deport. Back on your quest to make it to Waterdeep. <sighs> I must say we had quite the detour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh, now okay. through some shit. <sighs> Just a little. Um, it is about a three-day trip through very turbulent waters. Though the captain is very determined to keep his ship. So, what would you guys like to do during the three days? Try to um, not be sick. What was that? Not said try to not be sick. If you want to try to. I'm on turbulent waters. Ooh. All right. Uh, roll a constitution. To roll three constitution saves, then. One for each day. Doggo as well. If you think Doggo's going to be sick. Constitution. Um, so yeah, for the first two days, you are very green skinned and Aww. puking over the side of the deck the whole time. Uh, by the third day, you're you're finally starting to get your sea legs on, so you're feeling better. And Ter Tersha will will be the the mothering cleric and offer like damp towels on whoever needs it, and like and make sure you stay cool. And I guess cool is probably not the issue in this situation. Yeah, but. yeah I'd say for the, the first day and a half, again. for the first day and a half, you guys are still in Arctic frigid waters. By the like halfway through the second day, and then into the third day, you start getting into warmer waters. Um, the seas, though, the whole time stay very turbulent. Um, everyone roll a perception check for the first day. And somewhere in there, I'd like to play around with my alchemy kit. All right. But uh, perception was um, 12. I got 13. Okay. So uh, on day one, while you guys are all leaving the port area. Sorry, my leg hurts. Uh, there you go. Like his new shirt. Oh yeah, new shirt. I do. I was so admiring it. We all nice. <laughs> that, that's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Um, but yeah. So during the first day, um, as you're leaving the city, you do see the tentacles of a kraken come out. A couple times, but it's far enough away that you guys aren't worried about it. It's the opposite direction of what you guys are going. All right. Uh, We've all played Sea of Thieves. Verify that the captain saw that. Oh, yeah. He, he saw it and he's just, he, again, the ship's going his the opposite. Perception was pretty high, just to be sure. Oh, trust me. His perception is very high. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Um, so uh, during day two, Tursal, you'd be under down in the lower deck working with your alchemy stuff. Um, so Go ahead and roll me. Um, let's see what that. This is the black stand. Yes. 
I know, but that's what I had for him when we started. So that's what he gets. It's been the same ever since the first. Yeah, it's basically Keyleth. Look at it. Um, we'll just say it's a medicine check. Okay. I have proficiency in medicine. It is a seven plus six, so thirteen. All right. Um. Yeah. So during that second day, messing around with it, you're able to make three, uh, low level healing potions. Uh, they are two d four plus two. Good job. And um, just just for fun, can can I make them taste just a little bit strange? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> so everybody knows they're my potions. Like maybe like a little spicy or. I'd say uh, as low as you rolled, you're almost rolled to fail in the first place. I'd say they've already do taste a little strange. <laughs> okay, so they're like the worst <laughs> cough medicine you've ever had. You're yeah, just, they fuck. they're. You literally, you rolled one point higher than the the fail mark. So, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and say <laughs> that you, uh, All right. your potions do have a weird so taste. Whether or not you did it on purpose is up to you. Right. You, you can oh, do and, it. And I'm going to hand these out eventually. I'm not going to tell yeah. anybody about the bad taste. I'm just going to be like, you're going to want to, you're going to want to yeah. take your time with that potion. So basically what you're saying is, there's cherry NyQuil, purple NyQuil, and menthol NyQuil. And you're right. giving everyone the menthol NyQuil because you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that's how and you it's know it's working. It's not even like working. the good NyQuil. It's like the generic menthol NyQuil. So but, it's like, but here's the thing. The you know, potions, I'm... if you spill a little on yourself, it's just like Robitussin. Just rub it in. It'll do some work. Oh, t Tussin will heal anything. <laughs> there All you right. go. I'm telling you, a, su a, supreme, a supreme healing potion is just Tussin, okay? Right. I'm telling you. You got shot, oh. tussing it up. Yeah, put some tussing on it. All oh, right, so while he's doing that during day two, you guys, uh, the two of you roll a perception check unless there's something you wanted to do. I, I got um, okay. I do like perception. Yep. 19. 19? I got a... I got Plus, I, one of these days I'll remember that I always add three to it. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Um, it's a very, again, the seas aren't calm, but it's a very calm day nonetheless. You don't see anything. No ships are following. No creatures are following. Um, the skies do look a little cloudy and storm-like off to the port side, but you guys are going kind of away from it so you're not too worried about it catching up all right day three rolls about and you guys start seeing other ships like uh fishing ships and stuff further out um many of them are flying the flags of water deep some of them are uh Baldur's gate flags uh you know you are getting closer to the swords coast um is very relaxing day again the waters are still very turbulent and disturbed but for the most part it is a calming day um how would you like to spend this day i'm just playing with doggo what? sharky's walking to be on the ground okay um as i said the last time you guys were on a ship the whole time since it's turbulent the ship's kind of doing this doggo's doing that whole dog in a car oh. thing so he's not having the best of life right now so uh, he's got his head go. out the window <laughs> all right just sniffing away that's awesome uh Tursal's gonna approach the the new yet old kunku with the white eyes and and kind of poke around for information be like hey what's happening man you feel like really familiar have we met before yeah. like and it looks at you and remember kankus don't speak but they can repeat in perfect intonation of what you say to them so back in your voice the exact question oh. is repeated creepy uh, <laughs> but you can go ahead and roll yeah. a perception check and there's a little kind of not and i'll say like, i'll oh, say you're yeah. at advantage since you're a cleric so you can uh, roll twice and take the highest 
Oh, good, because that was a bad roll. <laughs> ah, cool. There's a nat 20 for that one. All right. Um, yeah, being a cleric while you're sitting there and uh, it does come to you that Kenku's only repeat what you say, you do feel the presence of undead, that this Kenku, just like this ship, was brought back from beyond. Oh, well. Tersel's going to give kind of a, like a knowing eye to the captain, but Tersel also realizes he's on the captain's ship and he's not going to start any shit here, but he's going to give him a, a, I don't know about this dude. We're going to talk about this when I'm on dry land. Um, he's not going to say that out loud. But he, why don't you roll an arcane check real quick? Six. Mm -hmm. I have zero on Arcana, so uh, flat six. Flat six. Um, you get the sense that this isn't the first time they've been brought back. Oh, wow. Aww. He just brings the ship back. He brings the crew back. I mean, <laughs> consistency. It's a little yeah. I like it. No, knowing that that Tersal has very little power in any situation on this ship, he's just gonna be like, I "Wonder if the Kinku cost him lives too," and then just kind of go about to his his own business and leave it alone. How is Ariel? Uh, Ariel is the entire trip has been below deck meditating. Hmm. Learn some more health, healing potions. Healing spell. You know, just because she's a paladin doesn't mean she has to heal your ass. The cleric should be your healer. So yeah, we we need her to destroy things. That's what she's yeah, been doing yeah. the whole campaign. Yeah, paladin is more your tank healer, as where your cleric's your healer healer. Can't help but that your cleric's kind of a sarcastic, you know. <laughs> you could heal with alcohol too. It's, you know. <laughs> It's spirit. It's a spiritual healing. That's all. Yeah. Remember, yeah. you used to have ghosts in your veins, and you took cocaine. So, I mean, I'm not going to question medicine. <laughs> all right. So, as you guys pull up to the docks of Waterdeep, finally you're reaching your destination. We're going to take a quick break and get coffees, drinks, and all that real quick. Yes. And we're also going to kind of set up a little bit. So, we'll be right back. How do I get out of full screen? Uh, I'm already out.
money, we could start catching. All right, we're back. Artists. Yep. Sure. Yeah, actually here. So the mics are still working. Hmm. Yep, it's working. All right. So uh where did I oh and just for uh clarification, so I got a new spell on sixth level. Okay. So one of one of those travel days, Tersa was in a some private area meditating to his god and getting new stuff. I got new one I got was nice. That is very important. Mm. I need to look. I don't think. Um, level six. I'm trying to think. You you should have got something, D. Hold on. You got shadow step. You can oh, teleport shadow to shadows within Ooh. 60 feet. Fuck yeah. Did you do her well, I know I got an extra key point, too. He did not update No, I, I, need, I need to update those and fix yeah. the ones that I apparently didn't write down correctly. Yeah. That's actually, yeah, yeah. Our, goal, our goal after today's session is to sit down and do that over lunch. So, yeah, so your proficiency should be a plus three. You should have six key points, and your unarmored movement is now 15 feet. Um, at level six, you get uh, key empowered strikes and a Masonic uh, tradition feature. So you'd have to look into which one you're using on that. You got way, way of the open palm, way of the four elements. Mm -hmm. So, you would, yeah, you need to look into that. And that's that's how you would get shadow step is if you go into way of the shadow which is another one yeah. so well, i think that's the direction i was heading um okay just... and yeah your unarmored strikes count as magical for the purpose of overcoming resistance and immunity to non-magical attacks so basically when you do an unarmored strike now uh if the creature is resistance to not like regular attacks but uh, it would count as a non it would count as a magical attack. So you would do be doing a magical attack on him. So it would be able to yeah, for resistant to bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. Could be your hit. Well, no, there's some yeah. creatures that are resistant to all damage other than magical. So you would definitely you would still do the damage. Awesome. Uh, I'm trying to find this map for you guys because I'm I'm not going to draw out the map. Maybe you start in map. No, because you guys are only going to walk through a small portion of this, so I wasn't going to. If you guys have ever seen, uh, this page one forty-five. Fun enough, my other D and D character is actually from Waterdeep, and I've been trying to write a detailed backstory for her. So that's hilarious. Become intimately uh, aware, knowledgeable about. <laughs> um, do you have the Sword Coast Adventurers book? No, I don't. Um, I'll check my PDFs later, and if I do have it, I'll drop you the PDF because it actually has this whole section on Waterdeep. Oh, nice. And that's actually what I'm looking for right now because... So neat. <sighs> This is why I'm not drawing out the map. Oh, yeah. Fuck, no, yeah. Because oh, that's really cool. It's very yeah. intricate and detailed. But you guys are basically landing here at this dock area, but you're going to make your way out pretty quickly towards this gate. There is some shopping and trade areas you could stop at. Um, so if you guys want to do any of that, it is about 5 p.m. ish. So it is getting dark. So if you want to look for an inn for the night, uh, you could do that. Like I said, if you guys want to explore a little bit of water deep, uh, you can. Um, I wasn't going to break down Waterdeep because uh, it is very extensive, these large cities. And uh, you will eventually, and when we get to the point where you guys are there longer, I will make a more detailed area. But just for reference, that's kind of what it is right now. Cool. So. Uh, that's really a cute little city. Captain Catapult? Yes. 
He's he's showing us the map of Waterdeep at this point. No, you guys have actually docked and you are coming off the ship at this point. Uh, he is saying his farewells to you. The Kanku has stayed on board. You guys have grabbed your stuff. You guys are walking down the gangplank to the dock at this point. Like I said, it's about 5 p.m. It's starting to get dark out. Um, the smells of the city is mixed with like the seawater air coming in off the, the nighttime high tides that are coming in. I don't know if I've ever been to water deep. You you would you haven't been there, so no. So I'm saying is Captain Catapult, so to speak. No, no, no one's showing you a map. I'm the the map's just there because I didn't want to troll out the map. You're basically you got dropped off in Chicago. Good luck. Have a good day. Good thanks for have thanks fun. for paying for the yeah, trip. Go Deuces. That way. No. Thanks for all the if, fish. If you want to ask him, like, <laughs> hey, where where would be an inn? He could point it out, but he's not going to... Hey, he doesn't have this map. Mm-hmm. Now, if you wanted, like, a detailed map of the sea, he has several of those. But he does mm-hmm. not have a city map because he's a sailor. So, what would you guys like to do? Well, I mean, it's five o'clock. It's happy hour. Um, we're in a new city. We got to get our, 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 our we got to get rid of our sea legs. You know why? Mm. Why not? Uh, well, he can really turn a, me into an alcoholic. I, you don't have to drink. You could just. I'm sure they have food. <laughs> right. You know. And they're gonna accompany me that dinner with. All right. Food. So I take it you guys I are gonna ask the captain logical. if he knows where the nearest inn is. Mm-hmm. All right. So mm-hmm. the and captain tells you yours. that there is so. <laughs> there is a reputable inn about four blocks north. Um, and he points to the street you need to take. He's like four blocks, and he says, "Is the uh, pouncing pony inn?" <laughs> uh. Awesome. Let's do it. That's not the prancing <laughs> pony, it's the pouncing pony. Yes. Got it. The Got- pouncing pony. <laughs> hey, you can't get copyright if it's different. That's right. It's the pouncing pony. All right. I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> what do we see on the street as we're headed to? Uh, roll perception check. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. I would like to know. What do I see? That one, that one does do so good. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Nine. <That's the> <laughs> what did you get? Tur- Tursal is blinded by his desire for more alcohol. He rolled a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Tursal doesn't exactly know where he is, so he's just kind of blindly wandering with the group. Yeah. I'm like, um, grab him by I the collar. No, this way, motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, pass listen, my I'm... flask of fire water. Oh. We'll just Here. follow the There's other, other crew members, and the, I'm oh, sure these pirates funny. know. I mean, these sailors mm. know where to go. <laughs> all right, we'll get to the net twenty here in a second. We're gonna go my, plus my three. So I, I hand you my flask. Oh, have, have a sip of this fire I've, water. I've got my own flask. Thank you, and then oh. he'll start. <laughs> all right, we'll get to your net twenty here in a second. We're gonna go. With, <laughs> okay. With okay. Me. Cool. All right, so you um. At your little level, you really don't see a lot of things other than butts and crotches, um, <laughs> stalls that are about eye level, so you really can't tell. But you do smell that there's a lot of food. Uh, so it's like food stalls all over. Um, a lot of fish and seafood. Um, you do hear merchants calling out. Uh, it's kind of like when you're walking through the fair and all the carnies are trying to get you to play a game. You kind of have that. Um, well, as they're getting ready to close for the night, they are uh, trying to get everything last minute sells off before they they close the stalls. I'm sure Megan has had enough fish being on the boat for the last three days. Is anybody selling like you know turkey legs? No, not in this area. This area would be Anything. very heavily, very heavily a fish market oh, area since it's so close to the docks where the docks come in. What'd you say? Any meat pies? No, again, it, it's going to be all seafood. Yeah. Like no, you would have, 
you would have to travel sure. further into the city, closer to like the farming districts to start getting other kind of meat. But this area being connected to the docks is going to be seafood area. So Boston Market, okay? It's going to be nothing but like crab legs, fish, more fish. Well, I guess we'll let Nathan's nose decide what he wants to eat. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for him then. So, um, uh, seven. How much? Seven. Um, yeah, you're kind of on par that he is kind of sick with seafood. So, even though he smells lots of things and he's got a little bit of a hungry belly, he kind of just he's not really having it at the moment. So, he he's not really excited. All right, so let's oh, go to hush puppies. No, those aren't a real thing. Damn it. I was hoping. <laughs> fried bread. This is not Long John Silver's. Fried, fried bread. <laughs> There's fried bread in every culture. There's got to be some fried bread here. <laughs> Again, there. this is a lot like just like a fish market. Okay, so. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, you're, cool. you're on the wharf right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know it's hard for, for landlocked Missouri people to know what it is, right. but there yeah. you go. There, this is. There are fish hanging up. Fish with their heads still on. Fish with their heads cut off. Fish already mm -hmm. scaled and cut. Fish that aren't scaled and cut. All right. Yep. So it smells lovely. Yeah, yeah. You ever been down by the river at about during the hot summer day? Yeah, it kind of smells <sighs> like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've we've been near the crawfish broil. So yeah. <laughs> It's not uh, I'm talking more along <laughs> the lines of the combination of human and other species oh. smells mixed with fish that are drying in open air. Um, and it's remember that time in Florida, baby, we went to that trail and it was uh, all no. water log. Yeah, that smell. There you go. That plus, is a plus uh, mosquitoes. Probably. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Now you're reacting appropriately. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what, with your natural 20, that's what you really get the full experience of. You have that. Plus, you see all these merchants. And there's merchants of every kind. You see a couple tabaxi oh, merchants. You see you some humans. Um, you even see a okay. goblin merchant who has crab shells and crab legs and you're watching as he's breaking them with a little metal hammer and pulling the meat out and throwing them into a basket um again it's getting to hard where they're starting to close so a lot of the stalls are like pulling the fish down and the ones that aren't good they're kind of just throwing into a basket um you do see the occasional stray kitten run out and kind of pull a fish out and drag it away Kitty. very happy and triumphant in its catch for the day Nice. Yeah. And I'm like, Nikan, no. Oh, um, <laughs> you do see um, a large amount of rats also scurrying about underneath tables. Uh, so does he mount on one of those? Well, no, you you guys, she's seen it. You didn't see it. Saying Nikan yeah. oh, didn't I'm see it either. Like the full, yeah, I get yeah. the bouquet. She got the nat 20, so I'm giving her the full detail. Um, yeah, you notice that the, the buildings grip. here close to the wharf um, are very weathered. Um, they are brick buildings, but due to the, the water constantly coming through with the wind and everything, they're very, it's like very smooth, sanded down brick. Um, seagull shit everywhere. Oh, yes. Everything's covered in <laughs> seagull shit. Um, it's like, oh, you really you nice do see a few, oh. a few guardsmen oh. walking around. Um, but they're very, they seem very laxed. Um, they just, nothing really goes on in this area other than fishermen bringing in fish, selling fish, go out, get more fish, bring more fish. It's a daily cool. routine. It's a, it's a chill um, vibe. I like it. Tersel, I want you to roll a perception check. Uh, 10 plus 3, 13. Okay. So as you guys keep moving, you finally make your way to the end. And uh, as you enter the inn, it is a small one-room uh, inn on the bottom, but you see a staircase that leads up. 
And then another staircase that leads up. It's three stories tall. Um, inside of it, you see various very weather-worn men and women just sitting there kind of nursing drinks. Uh, there's no music playing. It's very dark and gloomy. You can tell this is kind of the place where sailors come at the end of their shift where they're just they're tired. They just want to have a drink and a meal and then fuck off. Um, as you approach the bar, you uh, there's a older female uh, human with long gray hair, very thin face, high cheekbones. Uh, she's cleaning a mug. Um, you can't tell if she's making it any better or not. But she put, she puts it down along with this rag that again can't tell if it's clean. And for the wharf, for the wharf, for the wharf, this is reputable. <laughs> yeah, um, people want to come here. So. All right, she looks up at you, at the four of you, and Doggo, and uh, she's like, she she greets you all and says, "How may I help you guys?" Like a room uh, would that be one room or do you want separate rooms? And I will probably room. I yeah, I'm gonna need my room own room. Else. I don't, I don't know like, what's how I'm like, getting to bed tonight. Okay, like so, my own room, so four mm-hmm. four rooms, um, and mm-hmm. just for the night, uh, it'll be two gold each, two gold each. Mm, okay, fair enough. Cool. All right, so you all pay your gold. Um, she gives you room keys. Um, let's see here. Does that come with uh, food or anything, lady? Uh, she. Continental <laughs> breakfast. Right. Mm-hmm. It says um, we we are having a, a fish fry dinner here in about an hour. Uh, <laughs> it, it does come with that. Okay. Good food. I can't pass that up. All right, Tersel, your room is 14. All right. D, your room is 6. Ophelia. Okay. Ophelia. And Serafina, your room is 8. What about where's Ariel staying? Uh, she will stay in room 5. Ooh, neighbor. <laughs> Probably across the hall from you. Yeah, yeah. Right. same side. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, odds and evens, you know, yeah. opposites. Odds and evens, yeah. Across the hall from you. Yay. And next door. Tersel's on the third floor. The rest, the rest <laughs> oh, of you are on the view. second floor. Yes. Well, I hope and he gets he, and he, he's going to grumble about that the whole time. Like, I had to walk up so many fucking stairs. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you're all paying for your rooms and you're getting your keys, everyone roll a perception check. <clears throat> Yeah. Or no? Huh? Does Nick in as well? If you want to. I got an eight. If you want him to see something. Oh, Joe. Uh, Tersel got a 19. You said perception? Yes. 19 eight. for me. 20 for Doggo. All right. Um, so everyone but uh, Ophelia, you're standing there getting ready to pay, and you hear a commotion. You all look over. And at the far end of the bar, there's a little poof of purple smoke. You guys see a naked gnome come running through. He jumps across the bar, grabs a bottle, chugs it down, jumps, and another poof of purple smoke. The wild strapman had appeared. <laughs> Thurston's going to kind I'm of with pat today. Ophelia on the fuck? shoulder and be like, did you just see that? No, I don't know. What are you talking about? Little poof of thing in the. Ophelia was too busy looking in her purse. Paying my bill. Yeah, I'm like, where's that gold piece? (laughs) (laughs) All right, man. So you all uh, want to go up to your room, or are you guys going to stop for the fish fry dinner? I will have the fish fry dinner. It's free, and I will pass down. And a nail. All right, so you all sit down at this very long table, and as you know, other other fishermen start coming and sit down. Uh, there's fishermen, fisherwomen. There's even some children that come in. Um, they all are definitely working class. None of them are wearing really fancy clothes. Uh, most of them have very weathered face, being out in the sun and the harsh elements for too long. They have wrinkles. They're very tanned. Uh, their hair is just coarse and from all the seawater. 
Um, several of them are missing teeth. They all just sit there. They kind of eat. There's just general conversation about, you know, daily goings of fishing. Nothing spectacular catches anyone's ears. The fish, surprisingly, is very good. It is dipped in some kind of batter. Um, anyone wants to roll a perception check? Sure. sure. Father Cunt. 14. 14? 19. A, a one. <laughs> All right. Ophelia realizes that she's eating fish, but that's about the rest. One's out now. She's, um, she's so sick of fish, like, I don't even know. I just... <laughs> As were the other, you, you other two, you guys, you guys can tell that this is a beer batter, like an ale batter, mixed with a very like rare imported spice that gives it just that proper kick. So, um, and it is served with it is served with uh, these uh, like they're boiled and then cooked over an open fire potato wedges that are seasoned in that same kind of seasoning. I was enjoying it. All right, so you guys all like eat. Good. <laughs> yeah, you, you're basically you're just like food. Food. Put food in my belly. I don't care. <laughs> all right, so as you guys finish your meal, um, it is getting close to about seven eight o'clock now. Um, Tersel, roll a perception check for me, please. Ophelia's one of those uh, military ones that just eat it. Okay. Yeah. It like so yeah, as you guys finish off your meal and everything, uh, do you want to do anything before heading to bed for the night? There's no entertainment down here. No, no th like I said, this is a very somber kind of, everyone's just had a long day at work coming. They come in, they eat some food, they drink some, they go fuck off and go home. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll have some beer with uh, dinner, but then I'm Ahead, back up. All right. Mm -hmm. Tersel? Tersel's not looking forward to climbing three flights of stairs, so he's <laughs> trying to put off bedtime as long as he can. So if there's any trouble he can get into, not trouble, trouble, but, you know, like somebody's drinking, game poker, you know. All right. He's, look, he's so, looking for distractions, whatever he can find. Be like, All right. You, like how many D6 do you have on you right now? How many D6s? Yep. I have seven. All right. Take and I can get I can get another twelve if I need them. Nope. You only need two. Okay. All right. So you sit down. We're going to get rid of this map. Okay, so you sit down at a table where there are some uh a few fishermen and uh one fisher lady playing cards. Uh it is one copper for the pot to join in. Done. All right, so it's basically a Texas Hold'em type thing. So the woman deal. Mm. So there's your river right there. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Four, five, six. All right. Mm. So go ahead. Awesome. Um, you are, take your two dice and roll them once. And then you can decide to keep both of them. Keep one. You know, you could either keep all. Um, but um, she, the uh, one of the gentlemen is going to raise the pot five copper. So it would then go to the next guy. He sees the five. So uh, I'll go ahead and call as well. All right. So you see the five. All right. And of course, the dealer throws her five in. Uh, mm -hmm. See here. She is going to keep her dice or her cards. Uh, are you going to re-roll? Uh, yeah, I'm going to re-roll one of mine. Okay. A gentleman. If you keep those. All right. Okay, so then uh, final raise on the pot. First guy, he is. Am I allowed? Did we roll already? Oh uh, yeah, go ahead, go and roll. Okay. All right. Um, All right. Not good. Uh, I'll wait to see what everyone else is doing. All right. Or so whatever. the first guy, he is going. He folds because he had that. Oof. 
The second guy is going to fold because he had that. Oh. The dealer raises three. Interesting. Um, I'll call. All right. All right. What do you have? Uh, I've got a five and a three. So I got so one pair. You got one pair. Mm -hmm. She has a straight. She oh, has a straight. Lucky she kind of limped in. Bad. Jerk. It's a flush. In poker. Huh? It's a flush in poker. No, it's a straight. Two, three, four, five, six. Flush is when you have all the same. All the same suits. Yeah, it'd have yeah. to be the same suits. These we're not playing with suits, so it's just gonna be a straight. I was open for the straight. I, don't too, play poker. I was shocked. I've been the... playing I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption too, so my favorite <laughs> game's getting quite strong. The, it was funny because you had the first guy I rolled his dice and it was just two ones. And then the second guy I rolled it was two threes. I'm like, yeah, these two are out. <laughs> Poor dudes. Pair. Yeah, but a, a low pair. Yeah. Pair of ones and a pair of threes. Nothing, nothing good on the high side. So. Hmm. So do you want to play again on that? Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't want to spend all that time playing poker. I'll, I'll play one more hand to see if I get all more right. money. All right. This time, just roll a d twenty. Um, we're gonna roll against each other. We'll see who wins. Okay. <clears throat> I rolled a nine. That is an eleven. So the dealer wins again. You lose five copper. That bitch. God damn. <laughs> you better just take your loss and walk up to all those. Stairs. Yeah, I think that's exactly <laughs> what he's gonna say. Be like, you know what? I, I just need to climb those stairs. Thanks, thanks for the games. I hope you guys have a good night. <laughs> all right. Before you climb the stairs, roll another perception check for me. Uh oh. Redhead at the oh no, uh, that is a seven. He does not know. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you make your way up the stairs and up more stairs. <laughs> you find your door and you open it up. You go in your room and you go to take off your stuff for so you can go to sleep. Um, you are missing three gold from your no. pockets. <laughs> oh no. No, you got robbed, sir. He's gonna um, like be like look like I, I, I paid for that and then I did and then that fuck. <laughs> I think I've been bad. I'll roll another perception check. Um, <laughs> I think Turzel's about to see you a lot of money. Oh, there yeah. we go. Uh, perception would be twenty-two. All right. So while you're looking he's, over he's, your stuff, he's on fire now. He's like, he's like oh, as you're looking over your stuff, trying to figure it out, you do notice that there are a few tabby, tabaxi-looking hairs kind of across one of your legs. And it just huh. happens to be on the side where that gold was. Huh? Let me carry your pouch. The, the kitty thief. <laughs> All right, I guess I gotta keep an eye out for that for now on. Is there, All right. is, he's gonna look around the room and like look for any additional hairs. Like, do I need to be aware of shit in here? Like, he's gonna get like <laughs> real suspicious real quick. You don't notice anything in your room at all. Um, you aren't even sure when this actually happened. Oh. Well, Tersel would be like, well, well, welcome to Waterdeep, Tersel, you jerk. Pretty much. <laughs> all right, so you all sleep through the night. Um, you guys already have full hit points and all your spell slots. You've been on a boat for three days doing Ooh. nothing. Uh, you wake up in the morning. You wander downstairs. Um, the inn is rather empty in the morning, as most of the fishermen and fisherwomen are out on the, the seas right now doing their jobs. Um there is a breakfast of sorts being made. <laughs> um, oh, no. It's fish. I'm passing. It is a caviar, <laughs> like fish egg, and dry bread kind of thing. Oh, Hemi. Hi, Hemi. Hi, Hemi. 
Oh, it's funny that Hemi just showed up after the appearance of something. Got <laughs> <laughs> her fish heads. Huh? She got her fish heads. I just saw the fish heads. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> no, I'm talking uh, the tabaxi hairs on the pouch. It's kind of funny that Hemi shows up. Suspicious. Very suspicious. suspicious. All right. Mm. So um you guys all get together. Um are you gonna have breakfast or are you just gonna go ahead and no, no, head no, on I out? Tertial spent so many times in battles eating field rations that anytime he gets real food, no matter what it is, he's eating it. So he's totally going to eat breakfast. All right. I want you to roll a constitution save on this. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> no. Today, uh, constitution plus two. So that's a 21. All right. Why, why cool. Why? Well, yeah, he didn't get it. He, he, he's iron good. He, he was able to eat that and keep it down. Um, it was very salty. Kind of pops oh, yeah. in your mouth a little bit. Um, not the best of meals, hey, but you know, it, wasn't it disease, was food. You know? Well, it may have been, but it just didn't affect your digestive tract. So, <laughs> all right. So you guys head out. Um, like I said, you're heading west out of the city. Um, you make it to there's a large gate. There's a few guards there. Um, you see carts going in and out, carrying various uh, crates and barrels, people coming into the markets, going out to the fields that are further out. Um, it's early morning, so it's surprising how busy this town already is for that morning. But you can tell that it's both farming and fishing in this area. So these people rise very early. And by all standards, you guys actually have risen late to them. Um, you guys start making your way down this wooded path. Um, Ariel's kind of leading you guys in the direction. Great man says go west. Go west. <laughs> oh, you are going west. I don't know what emotes those are, but Jesus Christ, those are frightening. <laughs> I can't see it. Hold on. Yeah, strap man. They're a little bouncing like Bubble head, thumb he's head. Just, he's rocking. Oh, yeah, he's the cat? Like, yeah. I was like, no. Hey, I don't know what that is. Hey, what? Looks like when they put bobbly eyes on a finger and then <laughs> just have the finger going like this. I don't know. It's very weird anymore. It looks, it looks uh, very happy. It's enthusiastic. Said, or Hemi says it's that potato face filter. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. oh no. Oh, okay. says. This one's the carrot man. Ew. Oh, my God. All right. So you guys are wandering through down this path through the woods, heading in the direction. Like I said, uh, Ariel's kind of leading the group <laughs> as she knows kind of where you guys are heading to. She knows where the temple that you guys are supposed to go to is at. Mm -hmm. um, uh, where'd that book go? There's... Or, have like a spiritual connection to the princess. Yes, but she, they also, um, the wizards and clerics who had interned the body kind of uh, detected everything. They kind of figured out some stuff based off of the papers you guys had found. Um, here, I'm going to, here, can you move those, that tree and that tree real quick? And the people out of the way. Okay, just for reference, you guys are right here in Waterdeep. You guys are heading all the way over here. So this is going to be about a five-day journey. Jesus. So you won't be making it through today, obviously. But you guys are walking through right now. Uh, let's see here. The Misty Forest area is about where you've made it. That doesn't sound ominous at all. <sighs> yeah, it um, was misty. I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> um let's see here as you guys are walking have doggo roll a perception check Ooh. never mind <laughs> doggo's not sensitive right now 
Um, so yeah, as you guys are walking, um, it is a brisk morning. The air is cool. Uh, it is roughly starting to be kind of like late spring, not yet summer. So decent weather. Um, it hasn't rained in a while, so this is pretty dirt trap. You guys can tell that it's well traveled as there's ruts from carts. Um, you do see birds flying by. We'll roll a perception check. No, not not doggo, just you. Doggo already is not sensitive. He's... Yep, so you two are just enjoying being off of boats on dry land that's not and frozen. And not smelling fish. Yeah, and no fish smell. In fact, as you're walking, you do hear off to the distance, uh, you do hear like sheep baying as they're up in the hills eating the grass. <laughs> wow! That escalated. <laughs> a very odd thing for a druid to say about another animal, but whatever. You guys all kind of look at the druid who's again. who's just sitting there druid. She kind of has that Homer Simpson drool face, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like dinner bells to me. Even Doggo's looking at you kind of like, what? <laughs> also rolled a six, okay? <laughs> All right, so you guys can be continuing through these woods. Um, Tursel, roll a perception check for me. Uh, That's a trap. Dang it. Uh, this is a seven. Seven? Okay. And then you guys keep on walking. Nothing really showing up. D, roll a perception <laughs> check. Okay. Somebody find the cat. Really? Oh All my right. god. <laughs> so <laughs> I only have so much money left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me let me get this. Oh no. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared. Right? <laughs> but he's like, hold up, hold up. <laughs> oh my god. Hold my beer. Like, no! Ruling Druid. Lost her in here. Aww. Mm-hmm. All right. So while, while you're all walking, do 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 The aerials. Well, Ariel's leading. Tursel's kind of in the back, daydreaming a little bit, and he didn't—he yeah. didn't realize it as a tabaxi has kind of come up behind <gasps> him. No. And uh, she's going to reach for your purse, but right at that time, that's when Ophelia kind of turned to say something and solve the tabaxi. Oh. Um, the, the tabaxi drops. Something on the ground, and this poof of black smoke comes up, and when it clears, she's gone. Oh, what's the Hemi? Nah. Like I said, it's, it's, it's pretty odd that Hemi showed up right before, you know, right after the first rogue uh -huh, attack uh -huh. by the Hemi rogue. Hemi Dang rogue. it. The Hemi rogue. Yes. Hemi was like, kind enough. Tie your strings a little tighter, yeah, I'm gonna, there, I'm, sir. Next, next time I'm buying a fanny pouch. I'm going to stick that thing right <laughs> in my crotch. Hemi was kind enough to purchase this and send this to us. Aww. This is nice. Look at that. It's awesome. I love yep. it. It's a female tabaxi rogue. Yay. So. I dug it. I've been waiting to bring the character in, but. I didn't think she would do well in the Arctic, but <laughs> gonna have to start bribing Negan for protection. <laughs> he didn't even detect her. No, he didn't. No, he was he's, like, "What?" He's Trees? too busy look. He's too busy looking at the druid going, "Why are you talking about eating those sheep?" <laughs> mm -hmm. Mommy, what do you mean, lamb? Mommy, why we eat sheep? <laughs> I am chops. All right. So you all kind of stopped there for that brief moment uh, with the black smoke and everything. And 
Everyone roll a perception check. He can do. Everyone. Twenty-one. This is a fifteen for Tersel. Fifteen for myself. Eight for Dago. All right. You all notice that it's suddenly very, very quiet. No. There are no bird sounds, no insect sounds. Even the wind seems to have stopped. You all look. Something's wrong. <laughs> you all look around, kind of wondering where where the tabaxi ran off to, but also wondering why everything is so quiet. He's going to kind of squeeze in with the rest of the group. He's kind of falling behind. Daddy, you've made many appearances. Anytime we're in a pub. You start hearing this noise. Correct. Hyenas. Hyenas? Hyenas? I love hyenas. Tersal, roll a a reflex save. Oh, boy. (gasps) No. What is my reflex? But just It'd be under your save, so it'd be dexterity save. Like non-existent. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, saves it. If it's dexterity, it's just plus one, so sixteen. Okay. Do you, I'd say do you have uh, the bubble covered in next to it? Because you get proficiency if you do. I don't think you do as no, a cleric. No, I don't. I don't have okay. Trouble. So 16? Yeah. All right. So as you're looking around, all of a sudden this arrow comes flying out. You just step to the side as it thump and hits the tree right over here. And the laughing, laughter sound gets louder. And you guys see them starting to emerge. Oh. Do I know what these are? I should say, does Seraphina know what these are? Um, roll a uh, nature roll. Uh, I'd like to roll one too. Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, you would. Ten. Ten. Okay, you've heard of them. Uh, are you rolling for one, Ophelia? Oh fuck yeah! Three. Okay. <laughs> you don't even know they exist. Okay, so, Tersel, you've heard of these creatures that look and sound like hyenas, but you've never met one before, but you know that they are called gnolls. Serafina, you know that too. You know that these things are very vicious, very brutal, and uh, that they are just wild pack animals who only live to kill and eat and do do something else, but, you know... That's that's more of a bedroom time. So, hmm. all right. Um, where right, my notebook? Right. I'm looking for my notebook. <laughs> there it is. At this point, I just yell out to everybody. Holy shit! Fucking gnolls! No. <laughs> what are gnolls? <laughs> all they want to do is eat and kill. Literally. Aww. So they don't cuddle. Okay. No. <laughs> Damn. Well, bummer. All right. Well, at this point, everyone, roll for initiative. Well, shit. All right. So where are we at? I am. Oh, I wasted I that know. One. This is what killed one of my sons. No, no you guys killed your son. Yeah. Initiative. Wait, you said, all right, initiative, right? Yes, yep. roll for initiative. Okay. Right, making sure. So I got 19 plus my four. So 23. I don't want to be first. <laughs> That's what a null looks like. Oh, fuck. Like, see, there's like a part of me that's like, I love hyenas. And then I'm like, man. All geez. of these are just have the primer coats on. I still yeah. That's okay. All right. So D. Well, 
Um, What'd you get? You roll? I roll. Oh, I rolled a, a nineteen plus my of initiative, which is four, so twenty-three. Hi. Twenty-three. Ophelia. Tersel. Uh, I rolled a net twenty plus one is twenty-one. Nice. Placing my good die on the roll I didn't want to use. All right, Serafina. Fourteen. Make it ten. Uh -huh. Strap, man. You've got nothing but respect for you, man. <laughs> like, I mean, he's a cool rogue, and I'm a naked dwarf. You're a gnome, not a dwarf. Gnome. A gnome. You're a gnome. You're a gnome. gnome. And you're a gnome with a very large appendage. <laughs> It's very, it's it's cube-like in yeah. substance and size and girth. You yeah. see it every time because you show up naked. Yes, you constantly yeah. show it to everyone. It has been seen by hundreds and hundreds. Helicopter. <laughs> hey, it must be because because this guy is getting all over the country. Like. Trust me, I thought about. I have thought about no! having him one time chugging it down while helicoptering. I thought that'd be pushing it too far, but you know what? Maybe. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Ophelia, uh, you are up first. No. Uh, um, fuck. So these guys are like vicious, vicious. Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. They are vicious. I don't know if I want to engage them yet. That's frightening. Um, I'm trying to hit a. first. We want to yeah. first. Trust I want to hit me. first and I want to hit hard. So, um, I will run at the first one that's closest to me. They will not hold back, I tell everybody. They just want to kill. And. Oh, oh Stratman says, stop being accurate. <laughs> <laughs> stop sending me pictures. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield and tell. <laughs> you know, if you give me the source material, I'm going to put it in there, Stratty. Uh, this right, I'm going to. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's I'm Ophelia. Gonna... Yeah. So I will uh, go. Five. How far can you move? I can move. But do you have a range weapon? You don't have a range weapon. Yes, she does. She I do, but I do, but I'm gonna. Yeah, I've got a sling, but I'm gonna um, run out one with my quarter staff. You can get to so that far. one. Did you okay. have thirty. I've got forty with the level up. Oh, she have forty, yeah. and if she's doing an unarmed movement, she actually gets another fifteen. Oh. You can get to that one. You can get to that one. That one. You pretty much get to all of them. That's what which, one to one? which one do you want to get to? I'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see this. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> this one? Let's go to the one. Yeah, now let's go to the one um, ahead of the paladin. Like the, the one to the left. Of the paladin. Yeah, that one. You can go to that one. Um, and then we'll see. It. I'll do my quarter stuff. So I get plus seven to hit, which is one D Wait, yeah. Well, I gotta roll first, right? To make yep. sure I hit. Ha <laughs> ha. Twenty. Nat twenty. I got a I'm hits. keeping this die. <laughs> the other one, the yeah, other they're... one's in timeout. The other one's I'm taking a break. It's taking a vacation, not a timeout. It's just needed some time off. Um, and then. So you double your dice. Double my dice. And then add your stuff. Okay, so quarter staff is. Here's my note. 1d6, but I do it. I roll twice, right? Yeah, two. Or just double your dice or two. Mm -hmm. That is 
stupid school. Um, I got six on both. But I've written plus... What is the plus seven to hit? Or is that when I on my... And... So plus seven to hit, so your hit dies. I don't know if you have a bonus to damage. Um, it would be oh. plus your strength. Um... Your strength modifier. Yeah, you had... I got my strength modifier. That's three. All right, so three plus what you rolled. Uh huh. So three plus what I rolled. First does nine, then. Right. So nine on both. Nine so on she's, both. She's doubling, or is it plus? You, I, so no, you just one bonus. A three on your die. You you. I rolled, rolled a six. She rolled, rolled two, two sixes six, for and I got credit. two sixes. All right, so that's twelve, that's 12 plus the three, so the fifteen. Okay. Yeah, you 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 double. You roll your dice twice. And then add the bonus to the end of it. So the it's end of it. okay, dice, dice, bonuses. So 15, all right. Mm -hmm. Nice. You smacked that bitch. Yeah. Um, your and pals then... be a special guest next week? Yeah. On your stream? Ooh. Fuck yeah. Um, is that... So that was one attack. You've got another okay. attack, and then you've got bonus actions if you want to use them. Yep. Okay. I want to do... My brain is fried. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to try Flurry of Blows. So I'll spend a key point All for right. that. It's two on them strikes as bonus action. Well, that was so the wait. So the first one wasn't my first. That was, was just first one of my hit? first. Yeah. yeah, that okay. was one of your You two get attacks. another hit, and then you get your bonus action. Yeah, because you can attack, attack, bonus action as a monk. You're going to hit him oh. again with your... So roll again for another attack. Okay. Um, I know, we've taken a, a longer. <laughs> that was a two and a two plus... No, no, you have to roll a d20 for your uh, second attack. Oh, that's right. Thank you. Let me move those so they don't fuck anything up. That is a three plus my strength, so six. Oh, I got a six. Okay, that one missed. That one would miss. Mm -hmm. And then okay. now if you're going to spend your key point to do your bonus action for the yeah. attack on that. Yeah, I'm so, going to do that. So all right, so. My key point. All right, and then roll a d20 for your attack. 20, that is a nine plus three, so 12. That one misses well, no, too. It's more than three because oh. you've got strength plus perception. So yeah. that's where your plus seven to hit comes in. Yeah. Oh, or proficiency. Proficiency. Your proficiency. So it's right, whatever so... you rolled plus seven. Oh. Seven to hit. Okay. So six plus seven. So 13. 13. That misses. No, that so misses. Okay. okay. You get one more because the flurry blows is two unarmed yeah. attacks. Yep. Oh, okay. Another fuck. The same. Nine plus. Well, no. The other one was a six. So nine plus seven. seven. Nine plus seven would be 16. That does hit. So now roll your damage Yay. for that one. Yay! All right. And then that'll be. And then Flurry of Blows is two unarmed strikes. So my unarmed is. D6, I think. Is it a D6? Yeah. Is it? No. D4. No. D6. God damn it. D6 plus four damage. Okay, so, so we'll roll a d6 and add four. Okay. It was a three plus four, so seven. So seven more. All right, so yeah, you walk up to this one and first you just jam your staff into it right into its gut and it, it bends over like in pain. Ah! You, you go to hit it again, you miss. You, you go for an open palm strike and it just like cuts sights us, but the last one you come across with like a low uppercut to its jaw snapping its jaw nice. blood just comes out and you hit it hard enough that you hear this extra crack as its neck snaps oh nice and it just falls to the ground <laughs> first kill that's right all right and okay. she is entitled Take monk that. Does monk things yep <laughs> monk, monks monks go boink all right so then it is your turn tersel all right. You are here. I'm. Oh, I'm way up there by myself, huh? There's family here. Yeah, because you were kind of like lagging behind everybody, half half dazed off. Okay. 
Um, oh, okay. Very nice. Thank you. Um, and the character below me is Ariel. This one is dark? Ariel. This is Ariel. This is me. That's Doggo oh, okay. and her. That's you. And then these are bad guys. All right. Um, so here's what we're going to do. So Tersel is going to reach to his hammer and pull it out and uh, cast spiritual weapon on the knoll uh, above. Yep, that guy right there. Um, I don't know. Do I have to make a roll to do any of that? Or is it no, uh, a spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon no. would just appear here next to him. Okay. We'll see. He's here. Right make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet. All right. So you just roll a d20 and you add uh, your melee. I'll be uh, 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 spell attack is six. So that's a 14 to hit. 14 does not hit. Does not hit? Nope. Okay. So yeah, your your glowing hammer appears there and this guy goes to point him on the head and it just kind of... <laughs> And jumps out of the way. And then I'm going to move to the knoll below me, close to, um, uh, no, yep, that one right there. And I'd like to make a melee attack on him. All right. Uh, no, we're not. Um, nine. Nine does not hit. Nine. <laughs> And that's my turn. All right. Uh, let's see. It is our paladin friend's turn. She is going to the two knolls in front of her there. She, okay. Nope. She opens her hand. And two red bolts come flying out of her hand. They split off anime styles spinning through the air. And they do, what is it here? 2d4. 1d4 plus one. A wild so, chihuahua appears. Four and four. So, so yeah, both of them take five damage. All right, that's her turn. Sarah? My turn. It is your turn. Oh, Lord. Woohoo! Oh, Lord, it's a mess. <sighs> oh, Lord. We would have to move closer for that. Yeah, I just don't want to hurt. That's all. Well, if you were to go here, it would be one, two, it would hit this tree, but it wouldn't hit Tersal because he's in this square. Yeah. yeah. If we did, if it was like that. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do Thunder Wave. All right. Ooh. What's that? Okay. What save is it? It is a constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, what's the save spell, DC? 14. All right. He failed? He failed. All right. So he takes 28 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from me. All right. Of ten feet away. Yep. Five, do, ten. Do I get an attack of opportunities? <laughs> no, it's forced movement, so you don't get an attack. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> like, all right, you shoot him up, and I'll whack him. See, I'm on the nice. fence about forced movement opportunity of attacks because then anytime you guys got pushed by something they do, 
they would get an opportunity to tax, and that could kill right. some people sometimes. So I'm like, but, I think force shouldn't be an opportunity. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure narratively, uh, Tersel would be flinching from the amount of sound that just came his direction. Yeah, yeah. It's like 200 feet. You just heard this echoing thunder sound. Right. Yikes. The sonic boom or something. All right, you done? Yes. All right, then it'll be Doggo's turn. Because he's close in, uh, close to Tersal and myself, two of his favorite people, he's going to go and attack that one. All right. With a bite. Sixteen hits. Oh, looks all right. That's the one you thunder waved already. Yep. All right. And that. Uh, right. So yeah, it it dog runs up, bites into it, and rips a big chunk out of its bleed. And it's got blood coming out of its ears already from the thunder strike. A little bit of blood coming out of its nose. Uh, is that the end for the move? Mm -hmm. Doggo? Yeah. All right. So it's the Knoll's turn. Uh, he's going to jump down here. Here. Oh, they, they know the flanks uh, maneuver. <laughs> We're in trouble. They're organized. He's going to go here. All right, so we're going to start with the one here, and then we'll work our way up on their attacks there. Okay, so the first one's going to swing at Doggo. Uh, 19. What's there to hit on? Uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. All right. D8 plus 2. Uh, so 6 damage as he... Stabs out with his spear right into Doggo's face. Cuts across Doggo's face here. All right. Um, this one here is going to fire. Oh, no. This one here is going to attack Tersal. Uh, eight definitely doesn't hit, so he misses. That one there is going to fire a crossbow. He misses, too. And all three of those are going to fire crossbows uh, at the paladin. So let's see. Let's roll three of these at once. Um, and all three hit. Oh, dear. No. Well, luckily, the crossbows are pretty weak. Um, hopefully, the paladin is pretty you know, strong. Oh, yeah, and she's going to piss her off, and then they're in a lot world of trouble. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, she's got this. So, six. So, yeah, three crossbow bolts being into her shoulder. Another one hangs here. One gets right here and so, like hits her armor, and they all stick in. You guys see blood kind of dripping out. And, yeah, she just lets out a growl. Um, with that, it's uh, back to Ophelia's turn. No. Did the, the paladin go? Yeah, she went already. Remember, she shot magic missile. Flames. It was magic missile. I must have missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah, she launched out magic missile out of two of them. Uh, Did a whole five damage. Yeah. And then they're, Jesus Christ, those are more now? Where did this guy come from? They were yeah. here uh, and here. Yeah. There and were two moved. there. Oh, there was one on the rock. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we still have Jesus Christ, six of these little bastards. Yeah, you get the, <laughs> the Roman gnolls that are in the flanks position and <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. All right. Um Yeah, but target rich environment is what they call in the yeah. armed services. You wanna go to that one? Yeah. Draw oh, danger close yeah, for fireball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Well, I don't want to be in the way if the paladin decides to do something. What about that one that looks like it's trying to flank her? Yeah, that one. Okay, you can make it. Okay. Let's do the same as last time, because that seems to be working. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, you oh. killed the last one. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. That's a 19 plus... Seven. Seven. Yeah, it hits. So, all right. Eventually, that'll make sense. All right, so it's 19 plus seven to hit, so that's six. On my night, I like to roll down. And then... Um, I so quarter staff is 1d6. Uh, do attacks per turn, but I only do the one, right? Yeah, you do. We'll roll for your damage on this. Uh huh. That'll be a six plus four. A ten. A ten. All right. So the first attack was ten. Uh huh. And then now, uh, do you roll for a second attack? Don't eat the dice, Tanner. <laughs> oh God! I accidentally dropped the twenty on his bed. <laughs> He was like, like oh, what's this, mom? I know! Jummy stack. I know! Don't do it! Don't do it, buddy! <laughs> clanky, <laughs> clanky math rock makes good snack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's an 8 plus 7, so 15. 15, that hits. Oh, fuck yeah. All right, 6. So that is a 5 plus the 4, so 9. All right, all right. And he's still alive. Uh -huh. But he's not um, looking good. He's looking pretty rough. Twice. Um, one, two. Let's go ahead. Because I've got six key points now. I got five now. I will spend another key point to do. Yes. Flurry. I'm, I'm trying flurry to. Flurry blows again. I'm trying to show D. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh, oh. Kitties. Kitties. Hang on. Let me look at her. Oh wow! Oh, oh, I love it! Oh my god! It's like oh, oh. kitten color. I can pop. only imagine that if they were like all purring. Oh my god! <laughs> like, oh. like yes. They are all. That is all just passed. I'm just gonna up. come over to your house to cuddle with the cats. That's oh. it. Like just, just I'm gonna sleep on the couch and the cats can just. <laughs> I'll be thrilled. How tall are you? I am five two. She's not. I'm you, not tall. You, there's no tall. Are you talking about there's we, no height? No, 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 no. There's a reason for it. We don't have a couch. <laughs> okay. We have a love seat. And oh, it's yeah, no, perfect. perfect. Yeah. Like I can I can curl up on it, but I literally have to curl up on it. So that's what oh, I yeah, no, You I'll, should I'll be... be small enough yet you could comfortably curl up on the couch. Yeah. Yeah. Me, it's like my knees are up in my chest, my hands. The hands are curled in a little yeah. ball. It's like a child oh with God. a blankie. It's... Love seats are like the perfect napping <laughs> housing not, for me. It's great. Not for it. someone who's <laughs> six two. Yeah. I need I need a yeah. couch. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So what was that last attack? Um, last one is I'm gonna wait. Which one? The you said you were gonna spend your key. All right. So. Oh, yeah, I'm going to spin my key. I'm going to do Floria Blows. I need to do the... Uh, it's probably not going to hit. It's five plus... Seven. 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 So twelve. So twelve does not hit. So you miss on that one. Okay. I missed the first one. And the, Oh, I definitely missed that. Two plus seven. Is no, so yeah. Nine, nine, nine. So yeah, you whack him really well with the staff the first time, whack again with the staff, and then you go go for your unarm and just mm. poof, like you, it just moves its head both times out of the way but it is not looking good it's got a couple of teeth broke out he's so wobbly for me hitting the first time I missed so. him <laughs> yeah <laughs> like dude <laughs> alright Tursal it's your turn you alright uh, I'm gonna keep up with the one Negan and I are working on I'm gonna advance in there and do another melee attack all right. He's you gonna take fight? his swing. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you got advantage. I can find. Sweet. Yeah. Do I get to roll two? Yep. Yep. Actual advantage. Oh uh, yeah. Get ten it. Plus four fourteen. That does not hit. Okay. 
And then with my bonus action, as he's swinging, the spiritual weapon's going to follow his weapon and make an attack on um, Ophelia's uh, no, if I could. bonus to make it move. What? The spiritual weapon. The bonus for Uh, him to move it. Um, As a bonus action in your turn, you can move the weapon 20 feet and repeat the attack. Yeah. So, could I get to Ophelia's, though? Oh, 20 feet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Fuck yeah. Then I get one attack on him. Get it. Oh, that'll hit. 18 plus 6, so 24. Yes, that yeah. hits. What's the damage on this thing? D8 plus spell ability modifier. Well, that's decent. Three is not decent. Spell ability (laughs) modifier is six. So, oh no, modifier is three. So six damage. Still not bad. Decent. It's still a hit. Spiritual hammer whacks him on the head. Actually, yeah, this glowing hammer just flies over it and it just... It comes up and like Gallagher's it, just like spl- and his oh, <laughs> fucking head just so he was splatters. Him. You were like you were two points away from killing him on your turn. Nice, but yeah, he Can just, just it splatters. All over me? Yeah, you just you're standing there and there's just like <laughs> this null fucking brain chunks and skull chunks all down your face ah. and chest is dripping. You're just kind of standing there holding yourself like. <laughs> Thanks, thanks, Tursel. Thanks, bud. <laughs> All right, it's the Paladin's turn. She is going to cast Grease. It's a 10 foot, so it would hit these two here. They both have to roll a deck save against her spell save DC. Both of them actually fall prone. <gasps> these guys are dead. We'll remove them. So we know who's prone and who can. Yeah. And then as a bonus nice. action, she's going to cast Firebolt nice. on one of them that's on the ground. And yeah, it just played Baldur's Gate. Before. <laughs> it just poofs up and fires, so they are going to take some fire damage here. Uh, no, it's only the ones that are in, because it's a 10-foot area, so it's only two squares, so it can only affect two. I was hoping oh. for three. Oh, let's see. That's 11, 14, 16. Good, good, good. One of them just turns to like this crisp, burnt creature, and you guys all smell what smells like burning dog. And it just lets out this ah! yelp noise as it dies. The other one's on fire and it's rolling on the ground. Uh, it's not doing well, but it's still alive. Uh, that ends her turn, so it's uh, Sarah's turn. Um, the one that burnt to Chris, you probably couldn't loot much off. Like I said, it is burnt, burnt. Yeah. Four ish. Wow. I was going to use my crossbow. I just want to shoot at this one. All right. Okay. Sixteen hits. Crossbow. It's just a regular crossbow, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see here. I do have red tip arrows, but I just use a regular arrow. Um, it'd be a 1d8 because it'd be a light crossbow for you to be able to carry it. So yeah, it'd be a 1d8. Eight. Eight, all right. Seven. 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 Seven.
my turn. All right, then it's Doggo's turn. Oh, All right. Eleven. Eleven does not hit. Missed on that. The dog runs up to go to bite, and I just kind of give him a kiss. No. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> All right. At this turn, it's the Noel's turn. This one is going to. There. This one. There. This one's going to. All right. So the one in front, Doggo, is going to again turn. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, you didn't do it. So Doggo's going to. Uh, let's see. 10. Let's see. It was 14 against Doggo. That is his armor class. So it hits. All right. So. Uh, seven points of damage. As again, he cuts it across Doggo's ear this time. Oh. Uh, let's see here. The one there is going to get try to get you with his spear. Twelve. Misses. All right. And then the last one is up there. He's going to try to swing at the paladin. Oh, yeah. He totally goes. Okay. Um, is he still on fire? Oh, yeah. I forgot he's on fire. So he would take fire damage at the beginning of his turn. He is dead. He, he turns to a crispy beast before he can get up. All right. Um, so, and as we're getting as as the last one that swings at it, all of a sudden, this one here, uh, both Tursle and Dalgo are standing there growling and getting ready. Two daggers come flying out and hit it in its head and kill it. Hey, still our kid. Yeah. Who the hell? You guys look around. In the woods here. It's heavy. It's the tabaxi <laughs> from earlier. It threw two daggers. Aww. Okay, then it goes up to Ophelia's turn. Yay. Well, that's sweet. Thanks. Turtle's going to look over his shoulder. Did that just cost me three gold? <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, stay away from my purse. As you say that, she just you see like this wicked little smile and she just kind of runs off into the woods. <laughs> we had it. like pat pat yourself down. Pat yourself down. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so we got two left. Yep. God damn, these little dudes are vicious. I don't like them at all. I thought they were cute at first. Now I'm like, oh, <laughs> I told so you, Ophelia. <laughs> no, it's all so I sorry. do is eat and murder. And one other thing yeah. that we're well, keeping it. One other thing. We're, we're keeping right, it PG, but let's say Tercel's done it sometimes with the redhead. They cuddle. They cuddle nope. their own. <laughs> they do not cuddle. <laughs> Damn it! It's just all right. I would like to approach whatever the closest one is. I got their both about. The same, huh? You can go to this one, or you can go to this. You can go to that one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same. And the advantage, okay, real quick. because we are flanking. Oh, yeah. All right. An advantage is. So you get to roll twice and take the higher of the d20. Of the d20s. Okay. Cool. No. The first one is a fourteen plus seven. Roll it again, see if you get a 20. Uh, the second one is a 15 plus 7, so I'll take the 15 plus 7. 22? Mm -hmm. More than hit. likely you hit. I think that hits, yeah. so go yeah. ahead and roll for good damage. <laughs> we'll okay. just get that out while he's... Yeah. All right, and I'll do quarter stops again, so a d6 plus... Where is my... I'm, did I move my card? I moved my card. That's yeah. why I'm like, where's my card? 22 to hit. 22 hits. All right, so then I got a one plus four, so five for the first. 
Five for her first hit. Bam. Uh -huh. um, How much? Five. 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 And then. What'd you roll for your second attack? The second attack. Wait, so do I have to roll initiative for the second? You have to roll the or attack again. Just... So you have to roll a d20 okay. and then add the seven. Okay. So, some advantage. so I'm still advantage, so I can roll my d20 twice. Yep, right? take the higher one. All right, so the first one got three. Um, second is 18 plus seven. So that one hits. Cool. And so my d6 again, which is two plus four, four, so six. All right. How's he looking? All right, so yeah, you walk up and you just smack him up because he's facing Sarah when you walk up. So you smack him yep. behind the head with the staff the first time, and then you bring it around and you snap it into his ribs. And you hear this sickening sound as the ribs just snap in, and you watch as the bone snaps out, but at the same time, blood starts squirting out. It just collapses to the ground. Yeah! Woo! All right. Tersal, okay. it's your turn. A little bit of blood spray. Wee! <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I think I think Turse was so relieved of not being combat. I don't know what came over me decided he was gonna start swinging his hammer. But for the time <laughs> being, he's gonna walk up to Negan, kneel down, kind of ruffle his neck uh, fur, and, and cast uh, healing, cure wounds for a D8 plus six. Aww. Negan, such a good boy. So that's five plus six. So that's eleven healing on Negan. Aww. And then with my thing, I, I don't think I took any damage, but I would have cured myself if I had. So when you come up to heal Negan, he gives you big kisses on the face. Yeah. Yes. Lots and of then uh, bonus action. Uh, yeah. Can we go ahead and move him in, and we'll do an attack with it. No, we will not. That is an old. They, you can't get advantage with advantage spectral weapons. Spiritual. Yep. Six, six, seven. Actually, is thirteen. Does not hit. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's yeah, my turn. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see here. The paladin is going to swing her warhammer at this last one. I hope it explodes. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, she she should be good. Oh yeah, she hits two D ten. All right, so yeah, yeah, she just pulls out her warhammer and just smashes it right across the chest, and you guys just watch as this chest cavity just sinks all the way in and pushes out its back, but the skin is still containing it. So you just see like like when a baby is pushing it outside of the belly like you see that weird hand movement except for it's like ribs and you even see a little bit of the heart pumping for a second as it and then it all shifts back oh. and this thing just right, collapse cool. collapses that's to the ground cool. in this like pulpy bag of like dead flesh and bones <laughs> nasty don't, don't don't fuck around with paladin so especially this paladin it. she's pretty she's right. pretty brutal yeah, that's true yeah and in, in particular that's great all right Look around. All right. Is that all? Woot! As you're all Everybody. standing there for a moment, the forest is still quiet, and then you guys start hearing birds chirping again. Oh. I'm going to search the stew oh, in front of me. All right. While I kick him. Yeah. Roll, roll perception check. <sighs> or an investigation, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to check out Three, the one 16. in front of me as well. All right, what'd you get? 16. 16. Um... You, so you rifle through the body there. You notice, like, its armor is just tattered pieces of mismatched clothing piled on. Um, its weapon, its broken spears, like, halfway broken. The tip was very chip. Um, it doesn't have any money on it. It does have a pouch with some, like, rotting, fleshy-looking material inside of it. So nothing good. I'm nothing good. I kick him again. <laughs> little dude all right tersel you were searching one i got a nine a 12 about the same thing um this one though he has instead of like pulpy flesh he has like a bag that has like 
some eyeballs in it and a human tongue. Ew, dude. Yeah, these things yeah, just I'm, I'm they, they just kind of consume and eat like raw flesh and they're basically like a a pack animal terrorist. So they don't really collect anything. They don't care about gold. Their weapons are all kind of beat up. Their clothing's whatever they decide to put on. So Tur- Tursel's going to take a handful of whatever is that is and kind of offer it to Negan. Be like, "What do you think, buddy?" Like, uh, <laughs> um, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, <gonna> roll? <laughs> and you can roll. Uh, Negan's gonna be like, "Are you fucking?" Roll perception me? for Negan on that one. Uh, six on persuasion. Actually, Constitution for Negan. If Negan can roll his eyes, that's what's gonna happen. Twenty-one. Right now. Be like, oh, All right, so <laughs> yeah. so you got twenty-one <laughs> like, for Doggo. Oh, no. What'd you get, Tersel? Uh, a six. Yeah, uh, the dog <laughs> just like huh. the dog not only looks at you with pure disgust, but walks over to you and that corpse next to it, lifts its leg, and starts just <gasps> peeing on it. Ah! Like, all right, and just, then you know. kind of does this hind leg kick and walks <laughs> off. <laughs> Like, yeah, like the fuck hand. you. Like what the hell? Like I just helped you. You. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So same time, yeah, you guys throw the slap down and be like, fine. You uh, guys search fine. all the bodies that you can. Um, you don't yeah. find. Like I said, Knowles don't carry money. Um, they don't carry trinkets. Uh, their weapons are whatever they've picked up, scavenging. So most of their weapons are just damaged junk. Um, no. Who wants to check the still simmering hot burning ones? Nah, it's all right. All right. I'll poke it with my stick. All right. Go ahead and roll a perception <laughs> check or an investigation check on that then. Yeah, okay. Oh, stick. God. I'm horrible. Oh. Quick, quick. I got investigation has nothing, but I got a 19. So. So. As you're poking it up, uh, it also has a sack, which, as you've noticed with all the other ones, is usually contains like little frail yeah. mixed food. This one is kind of as it's been burning, it's opened up, and you see that there's a bunch of fingers in it. It's literally finger food. Um, I'm on one of the fingers is a ring. Ooh, of course, yeah, yeah, of course. I will, I will try to try to like ew. Okay, hang on, I want this. <laughs> um, it is a simple gold ring. Um, it doesn't seem like it does anything. It's just a simple gold ring. Yeah. All right. I'll pawn it later in life. <laughs> All right. Um, I'd like to have everyone roll a perception check. What? Uh, yeah. All of us? No, Doggo cool. doesn't need to. Just, just two people with eyes. Why? I was doing so good. I know. Me too. You got a nine. I got a seven. All right. Plus Collectively, you all you all sense that off to the side there's a clearing, and you see kind of back in the back there is a tent set up. Oh, somebody was there. I don't think they're there. So anymore. let's say you guys kind. Of, yeah. We'll just kind of turn it like this, so you guys walk the roof. Yeah. And yeah, there's a tent right about here. Um, Do Knowles camp? No, no. <laughs> I think I think that's what they're. I think more like the last the cave dweller. Eight. Oh no! As you guys approach the tent, you realize that mm-hmm. it, it there's a campfire that's just kind of simmered down. There's mm-hmm. some hanging fish there. There is oh. a little table, and on it is a little pitcher, or not pitcher, but like little bowl with some white residue in it. There's a dagger stuck on the table. I see that tabaxi that was in the woods earlier. Um, Is that where the daggers came from? There's something <gasps> new, like... Oh, yeah. A white substance. Is it milk? Were they getting drunk? <laughs> Roll an investigation check. Is that somebody else? Uh, that would be uh, Tiefling. Tiefling. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Tieflings get drunk oh, off of them. All right. I'm going to... For me, can too. Well, whoever wants to investigate what? Just let me know what you're rolling for. He's just sniffing around. The okay. I'd, I'd like to investigate for uh, Tabaxi for. <laughs> I, would, I would like to look at the, oh, my the dagger, see if it's better than the one I got. <laughs> 14 rocking around. And I got 19. 
plus the three for perception. And then Doggo got ten. Okay, so Doggo's sniffing around. He's definitely here smelling some good things, but nothing that really alerts you. What'd you get? Who's who? Me? Who? So what did I say? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Okay. I don't remember 14? what you said either. I'm so sorry. I think it was 11. 11? Okay. Uh, with my plus four, or three, would have been 14. Okay, so 14. All right. So, yeah, you walk over and you kind of open the tent. And, yeah, clearly someone's been sleeping in this tent. Um, you see a, a nice little, like, sleeping bag set up. Um, there are a couple of little plates with, like, fish bones that have been picked clean. Do you need, like, Hairs. None, none that you've seen. All right. Tersel, what'd you get? Uh, seven. Seven? Um, you're, you just kind of realize this is a campsite. I mean, you're not really picking up much from it. Yeah. All right. And D, looking at the dagger. So you go to investigate it, and right as you reach to touch it, roll a dexterity save. Me? No, D, because you want to search oh, the dagger. Okay. Uh, dex save. This is why you keep getting big talking. A seven plus four. Seven plus four, eleven. All right, hold on. All right, so <laughs> as you reach out to kind of pick up this dagger and investigate it, another dagger uh -huh. flies through and pins your hand to the table. Ow! Um, you take four damage. As you look Jeez. up, you see the tabaxi up in the tree above you guys. And she's like, those are mine. Oh. Okay, and, okay. And that's where we're going to yeah. leave it for today. Yay! <laughs> that was awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, well, there you go, everybody. Yay! And things will never be the same. <laughs> no, no. I'm excited. That's we'll awesome. Get back next week, you guys will have to uh, meet the Tabaxi Rogue. Again, Yay! brought to us and kind of constructed in persona by Hemi Cakes. Um, so I love it. That's awesome. You guys will know that what to kind of uh, experience here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just blurry Arr. shit. But yeah, she's she's a very. I'll, yeah. I'll post a picture. Uh, Aw, yeah. Just, I love the colors too, though. That's so awesome. Yeah, this one actually came painted and everything. Hemi, Hemi was nice really? enough to pick this out. And yes, Aww. I've had it for a while. Awesome. I've been waiting for a good time to bring Hemi into the game as a character. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, I'm excited. That'll be awesome. All right. So with that, we will go ahead and call it for the day. Thank you, everybody, for cool. stopping in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we love yeah. you and we are going yeah. to we'll be back next week we may or may not have cody hopefully he gets better and everything works out for him so mm -hmm. i hope so too all right love you guys all right awesome. we love you guys we'll see you all later thanks for watching Bye.